In this video, we're going to take a quick review at multiplying whole numbers. When we multiply whole numbers, what we will do is multiply by each digit. Once we've multiplied by each digit with every digit, we will then add the result. As we st continue studying through pre-algebra and into algebra, though, we'll find there are several symbols that we use to represent multiplication. The most common symbol you've probably seen to this point is an x. You'll see something like 3x2 for 3 times 2. However, you could also see a dot, 3.2, and we will know that this also means multiplication. Another way we show multiplication is we put things right next to each other with nothing in between them. So I might have a 3 in parentheses and a 2 in parentheses, and because there's nothing in between the 3 and the 2, we'll assume that means they're being multiplied together. All right, let's take a look at some examples where we're asked to multiply whole numbers. In this first example, you notice we're using the dot to represent multiplication. 132 times 13. In order to multiply these, we'll start with the 3 and multiply the 3 by every digit above it. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 1 is 3. Now we can move on to the next digit. When we move over one digit, though, we need a 0 to hold a place value, and we will multiply the 1 by each digit. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 1 is 1. Finally, we will add these numbers together to get our final solution. Adding from right to left, 6 and 0 is 6, 9 and 2 is 11, carrying the 1, 3, 1, and 3 is 7, and finally we bring down the 1 to get our final answer of 1,716. Let's try one more multiplication example as we review this operation. Here you notice there's nothing in between the parentheses, and so we will assume we are multiplying 325 times the 37. Again, we will see the same pattern of multiplying the 7 first by each digit above it. 7 times 5 is 35. Again, we don't write the 30 part, but we carry it to the next digit. 7 times 2 is 14, and we have 3 more. 14 and 3 is 17. And again, we'll carry the 1. 7 times 3 is 21, and an extra 1 gives us 22. Moving on to the next digit of 3, we'll multiply 3 times 5. Oops, don't forget the 0 is a placeholder when we move over a digit. 3 times 5 is 15, and we'll carry the 1. Don't need that 3 anymore. 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 more is 7, and 3 times 3 is 9. We're now ready to add these together to get our final product. 5 and 0 is 5, 7 and 5 is 12, 7, 2, and 1 is 10, so we'll carry the 1, and 2, 9, and 1 is 12, and we get our final answer, 12,025. Multiplication works by multiplying every digit by every digit above it. Don't forget zeros for placeholders as we do that.